be a special agent. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I mean, I've got a therapist back home, but, you know, he doesn't get it, so. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think there's a connection here, right? And plus, we both have similar jobs, so. Well, I come from a cop's family, and I've always wanted to help people, but police work is just too messy for me, so, yeah. And ever since high school, it's been a dream of mine to be a special agent. <laughs> well, we can't all be astronauts, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know, the uh, the rush, the adrenaline you get is nothing like it. You lie to people and they believe you. And I sleep like a rock at night because I know I'm helping people. And so. don't. Wait till you hear from my agent. I was hoping you would come by. all week. My regulars take the vampire thing. Vampire stories are a way to make rape fantasies more palatable, which works both ways. No, I am the victim. One of the vampire wives. It's human nature. What? You don't want to take a bite? As government agents? Davy, do you mind if I call you Davy? Okay, well, now they do. So, Davy, you are the least horny law enforcement agent guy I have ever come for. Cops are normally the most twisted. Well, I can tell I am good at my job. What? 
my questions again. You first. Tell me. How did you end up in such an uh, exciting job? Okay, sure, but it's deeper with you. You are no ordinary cop. What was the moment when you decided you want this? I bet you were young. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah. What? No, it was? <laughs> you are good. Oh. Uh, well. I come from France. As you know from Paris, my father was a judge, a powerful man. And when I was in school, I was sleeping with a guy who was a criminal. This upset my family. They were worried about a scandal. So my father sent me to America to study. And this is where I met my husband. He worked in a bank, he met a lot of money, but he treated me badly. And so I told authorities about his insider trading. I divorced him while he was in prison. But now I had no money and I had no education. So it's a, a man's world, Davy. But doing this, I get paid for it and I can make men disappear like this with a butt which is quite something not all the guys are like you Debbie. yeah I cross my heart oh look here says Max. That was my first boyfriend. The criminal, he did the tattoo himself. It hurt a lot. He did not need his name on me. You do not trust me. Are you going to be one of my regulars? No, you just turn up, tip big. Bye. Well, who is the best agent of them all? Hmm? 
You look like the cat who got the cream. What's up with the Martin girl? Remember why we only give these jobs to agents with wives. All right, that's better. Those two are your targets for phase three. Thought a favor with them, and this weather plan works so well. Not the obvious route into the organization, but she's credible. Don't <laughs> crap, she's just worried about you meeting her ex. People are simple machines, the digestive system's easily confused. Let's leave that for the final report. Do all the guys have this? <laughs> You're so prickly! <laughs> Today was good and bad. Today at camp, I found a crazy bug. Emily said it was gross, but I picked it up. We found treasure and put it in my good pocket. Then when I came home, I hid it under my bed. My tooth hurt though. I had to sit with the camp nose all day. It was so bad it was bleeding. Since it was vacation, we had a movie night. We watched Sleeping Beauty and built a bed on the sofa. Come inside. Get into my room. Oh my god, looks just like your place on Kinsey Street. You have that mattress on the floor, I was sure you were a serial killer. <laughs> oh, wow, well, the glamorous life of a super spy. Got Alba ready for camp. Made her a spectacular lunch. No PB and J, otherwise she has to sit at the peanut table. 
at work, I pulled a messy code blue back from the brink and administered a sub-Q insulin that my patient didn't even feel. Picked Alba up, made her dinner, soup, because her tooth hurts. <laughs> and then we had to watch a Disney princess movie because Mama sent us the damn box set. Hey, can I call you back after Alba goes down? It's late, I gotta get her in the bath. All right. Love you. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. When that tooth falls out, the tooth fairy's gonna come and she's gonna give you money for it. Yeah, you never heard of the tooth fairy? The fairy that comes at night while you're asleep and she takes your old tooth from under your pillow and she swaps it for money. Well, okay, look, if you don't, she'll only come if you want her to come. And if you do, then here's what you gotta do, all right? You gotta put your old tooth under your pillow and then write her the sweetest note, okay? I miss you. No, I miss you. Hey, what do you think of the new apartment? <laughs> oh, but I've I've upgraded to a futon. <laughs> yeah, except they. Neglected to mention all of the furniture assembly at Quantico, left that part out. By the way, if you needed, you know, say, 17 Allen wrenches, I've got them. So you just let me know. Yes. Yes. How you doing? Tell me about your day. be cringe when you try and talk about music. Besides, you're off the clock now anyway. So you just watch. My name is Isabella. I am a very rich and extremely horny woman. I hire young men, and then I hold them captive, and I hypnotize them. Yes, I'm a mind vampire. That's how I made all my money. Now, sh you are... No, you are Alex. You are a business competitor of mine. I lured you to my castle, and now I'm going to have my way with you. Alex. Are you sorry that you tried to mount an aggressive takeover of my business? Mm, just terrible things. I'm going to use you for my pleasure. And you only come when I say so. Now, take off your shirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, very nice. 
Now your pants. Oh, slowly, slowly. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Hi, sweetheart. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Come here. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. Hey, we're going to have to take a rain check. Is that Daddy? Yeah. Dad! Oh, hi. miles away but you just just be there for support all right here we go Isabella wants to go to sleep. Maybe have a big glass of wine. Probably just go to sleep. <sighs> Hun, I just pulled a tooth out of our sleeping daughter's mouth. And in about six hours, I'm gonna have to wake up and go wait in the bathroom while she does a crap. Because ever since you've been gone, she started having that bathroom ghost nightmare again. <sighs> when I'm in the mood. I'll let you know. Or I'll just put on some Justin Timberlake and have a nice visit with my Hitachi. Oh, Father John Misty then. Yeah, well, I fell for you because you looked good in a suit. My vagina's superficial. 